So a lot of people in the world want to start an online business but don't really know where to start. They may not even have a laptop or computer. Well, in today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can create an SMMA and build and scale one with only your phone. Now, I want to preface this by saying that obviously it's going to be easier to do on a laptop than a phone. That being said, starting an agency is easier than you think it is and you can do it from your cell phone very easily. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can start, where do you begin, how to do outreach, and then how to create and do social media posts or the fulfillment for your clients. Thank Thank you for stopping by hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell it really helps me out i'm not gonna waste any more time let's get right into it so the first and obviously most important part of a marketing agency is having a social presence now you can create an instagram page a facebook page a tiktok account a youtube account really just anything that you think is relevant to push content towards um, from your phone you can create instagram accounts you can do all those things um, so there's really where you want to start is create a good logo and again there's some apps down the road that i'm going to talk about where you can do some creative things like that but create a logo, create a name. It doesn't have to be anything special. Once you have a name, once you have a logo, go to each platform, create those accounts all in all to create an account for every single platform should take you maybe 20 minutes max. It really is not a hard process, but in order to do the next kind of steps in the system, you're going to need, you know, somewhere where people can find your work, where they can find where you're about, and you're going to need somewhere where you can do outreach from. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but I'll put on the screen some examples of good social media profiles, what they look like for marketing agencies in 2022 going into 2023. It's important to constantly provide value, but we're not going to talk about a social media strategy for growing your agency. We're just going to talk about where you can begin. And that is a solid Solid, solid place to start is just getting the ball rolling, forcing yourself to do something for the first time. It's going to give you motivation to uh, to do the next step, which is outreach. Now I'm going to dive into my phone really quick and talk to you about how I would do outreach step by step if I were to get my first client only using my phone. Now pretty much all I'm going to do is look up some good e-commerce businesses or you know stores within your city. It really just depends on what your niche is. But for mine, it's e-commerce. I know a lot of people out there, it's e-commerce. So I'm going to look up some e-commerce stores and DM them, and I'll show you what a good candidate looks like. So here, the first thing we're gonna do is just type in hashtag e-commerce. Uh, maybe make it a little bit more niche. Maybe we'll do like e-commerce business or e-commerce tips. We'll do e-commerce business and kind of see what happens. Um, and instead of going to top, you're gonna want to go to recent because the top ones are gonna be most likely brands that are, are very well established. So this one right here, Fashion World GS, shopping and retail. It looks a little bit new. This might not be a good candidate quite yet as they're still building their business. Okay, so we've got a cool clothing brand here that I found on the Explore page. And essentially what we're gonna do is look at their content, what it could be improved, um, make sure that they're not already having a good strategy in place right now it looks like there are a lot of model shots but i think there could uh there could be some good template work that you could put in here maybe some good graphics that could maybe spice up the page a little bit so essentially what i'm going to do is go into messages here <laughs> Okay, this is unplanned, but I actually used them as an example in a previous video, it looks like, because, or or I just manually reached out to them, but I actually sent them a message on October 19th. They never got back to me, but it says, hey there, love the gear, who runs your marketing? And essentially, this is what you're going to want to do for a lot of pages. Uh, my recommendation is going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 of these per day. If you go any more, maybe into the 50 to 100 range, your page may be flagged as spam. And the last thing that you want is to get your account shut down, um, because obviously then you'll have no way to do outreach. Okay, so we've got a cool looking store in Long Island, New York. Um, so this is kind of a cool shoe slash like sneaker store. Um, so what we're going to do here, and they definitely could use some model shots. They could definitely use some work in terms of like spicing up their page um, outside of the products. A lot of people want to see the products, but um, in terms of keeping a good social media strategy going, you're not going to want to post the same content like they've got here. And, you know, these, these kind of photos all look the same. Um, so for messages, we're just going to go, hey there love the shoes just compliment their page or their product um and you're just going to simply ask who runs your marketing that way you come across as a nice person you're not necessarily wanting to sell wanting to sell them anything quite yet you're just getting the ball rolling and a lot of people will respond with you know we already have a marketer or i run the marketing myself and what you want to look for is someone that want, runs the marketing their self and essentially sell them on the fact that you know running marketing by yourself is a hard task and that they need a social media marketer and that's where you step in and show them some of your work now if you don't have any work that's totally okay a strategy that i recommend is offering your work for free at the end of the day you're a business you're a b2b business and if you don't have any results you're going to have to work for free in order to get that initial client uh, that you're going to then drive results for which i'm going to talk about the fulfillment here in a second you're going to drive those results and once you drive those results you can use that to get those clients down the road offer your services for free doesn't have to be very long but maybe two weeks and that gives you a good period a good grace period to figure out what works and what doesn't work for your client and for yourself and maybe if you're, you're even a good fit for social media marketing and that gives your client a little bit of 
leeway and a little bit of safety in terms of what you offer. Now, doing 20 to 30 of these a day, you're definitely going to land a client within the first one to two months. Um, and if you stay consistent, which is pretty much the whole key behind any successful business is staying consistent. And the people that strive to the top are the ones that are most motivated um, and don't really rely on motivation. They rely on consistency. So as long as you can stay consistent, you're going to get a client within that one, two, three month period. And once you land the client and you still only have a phone, you're going to want to do this from only your phone. I'm going to talk about how you can actually do the fulfillment from the phone without having a laptop. So the first thing is obviously if you're doing social media management, you're going to one, need something to create posts and two, need something to schedule posts. So on the screen, I'm going to put up some apps that I recommend for creating the posts, but essentially everything that goes into creating a social media post pretty much just requires some basic design skills, which if you've been on Canva, you know, is a really easy thing to do. I am nowhere near a designer and I pretty much create and schedule all of my clients posts that still look pretty without the expertise that I have in the design space. So really just play around with these different apps and kind of just see which one you like the best. A really important thing when running a social media marketing agency is having a system of content creation. That way you're not wasting a ton of time through different platforms, different softwares, and you're figuring out really what just works for you and saves you the most amount of time. So you're not like staring at a blank screen. So go through these different apps. And if there's a payment plan, you know, a small payment option, make sure to land that client first and then make the payment. Cause obviously you don't want to pay anything upfront. This is a free method, by the way, for your phone, 100%. Now, once you have your design, you need to then find a planning or scheduling software or app. I'm going to throw a couple on the screen here, but a couple of examples are Buffer, Hootsuite. The one that I recommend is Planoly. And if, I, if I'm correct, I think that they still have a free plan. I used to use them when I used to run Instagram theme counts um, and I used them and it was really an easy interface to one, get familiar with, but then also, uh, you know, continue to integrate more and more pages, more and more posts. I think there is a payment plan you can do, but it, you know, this is a free tutorial. Sorry, free trial is what we're going to go for here. Here. So figure out Planoly, make sure that it works with your customers and that you have their login information. But essentially the logistics of a social media marketing agency is you're going to do the outreach. You're going to land a client, get them on a call. It can be a phone call. It can be a Google meet. Once you have their, you know, kind of word, you can then send them a Stripe invoice through your phone, which is also something you can do 100% through your phone. And then you're going to want to get their login information. Once you have their login information, you pretty much do the fulfillment from there. So you can kind of promise them, you know, I'll do 30 posts for the month or or 15 a month kind of just depends on how many your client wants but that's pretty much how i would start and scale an smma if i was only given my phone i know a lot of people in the world don't have a laptop or a computer as it is a huge investment for some people out there in the world so i want to give some you know ways that you can start an smma on your phone you may be watching all these videos that require you to be in a laptop when that's simply just not the case you can start an smma from anywhere in the world that's the beauty of it uh, and it's going to give you some financial freedom if you can build and scale a successful smma i'm getting there right now. So if you want to follow my journey within the SMMA space, I would really appreciate you hitting that like and subscribe button. But until then, see you in the next one. Peace.